Welcome to the QuickBooks University. My name is Matt Holtquist. And in this video, I wanna show you how to properly set up a vendor in QuickBooks Desktop, okay? Uh, there's an important step that a lot of people miss when setting up vendors. Uh, and I wanna show you that in this video, okay? All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna to go to the Vendor Center, all right? And two ways to do that. Essentially, you can hit the drop-down menu here, go to Vendor Center, or of course, on the home screen here, you can click this button and it takes you right to the Vendor Center, all right? So if we want to go ahead and add a new vendor, all right, we're gonna type in, um, I'm gonna make up a name here, ABC Company, Okay, and of course, if you have a contact name and a job title, and you're gonna fill in all of the information here for you know, the contact, the phone, the email, et cetera. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put in an address for the ABC company. Okay, we'll say that this is Atlanta. All right. Okay, so once we have all this information in here, we're gonna to go to payment settings. Uh, in this particular case, we don't have an account number for this customer. Um, our default terms are due on receipt, and we don't have a credit limit or a billing rate level, and we wanna just print the name on the checks as ABC Company, okay? Now the next thing here is the important step that most people miss, the tax information. So what is this, okay? This is, if you have to issue a form 1099 to this vendor, you have to put in their tax ID number right here, okay? And the tax ID number uh, for a company uh, is typically called an EIN, which is an employer identification number. Um, it's also called a tax ID number, or for an individual, it's a social security number, okay? Now, how do you get this information? A general rule of thumb, and we tell all of our clients this, is anytime you have a new vendor, you send them a form W-9, okay? And here's an example of a W-9. This is an IRS form. You can get this right on the IRS website. It's very, very straightforward, okay? What they're going to do is they have to fill in their name, business name, what kind of entity they are, okay, their address, and their tax ID number, whether that's social security number or employer identification number. And then they have to sign it and date it and get it back to you, okay? Now the requester's name and address, that's gonna be you or your company, okay? So what we do is we have a uh, template, which is just basically this form, Form W-9, with our information filled in, and we just automatically send this to all new vendors, okay? And so you wanna get this back from them, and once you get it back from them, you're gonna enter their tax ID or social security number, and you're gonna check this box, vendor eligible for 1099, okay? Now, even if they aren't eligible for a 1099, you uh, err on the side of a caution to get this information. Uh, because if you don't issue a 1099, then it is on you to tell the IRS why you didn't do it, all right? You're the one that can get penalized. So a good rule of thumb, again, just send this to every vendor, okay? And so what do you do if they say, hey, I refuse to do this? Well, some companies go so far as saying, hey, you will get paid as soon as you give us a W-9, okay? That's completely up to you. But uh, that's what some companies do, is just say, you know what? If you want to get paid by us as a company, you have to give us a signed W-9, all right? And most people miss this, okay? So, you, so what happens then is you get to the end of the year and you're scrambling around trying to do your 1099s and you can't figure out, okay, well, who was this? And did I pay them enough that they're eligible for a 1099? And how do I track them down? Yeah, or, you know, I can still track them down, but I've got to track down 50 different vendors. Um, it becomes a nightmare. So again, good rule of thumb, just send a W-9. All right. 
And then of course we've got our account settings. Okay, if you wanna pre-fill some expense accounts and then you've got some additional information uh, if you have this set up in your QuickBooks file. All right, and that's it. Okay, so again, the important thing, tax settings. Get that W-9 and get that tax ID number. All right, for more training tips, tutorials on QuickBooks and how to do it right and do it the right way in the real world, uh, head on over to QuickBooks University, qbuniversity.org. Uh, we've got uh, a great program over there that will teach you QuickBooks along with one-on-one -on -one support from me. Uh, head on over there, qbuniversity.org.